Movers, what up? 7 p.m. What up, what up, y'all? Where my movers at? We live, 7 p.m. Wednesday nights, y'all. What up? Joe Paul, what up? It's the word, y'all. 7 p.m. Warrior Wednesdays. Y'all know how we do it. Where we at? We're going to give a few minutes, wait for everybody to log on. Well, what up, y'all? Crazy day today. Did a dope interview. Can't wait to release it. Interview with my girl, Amanda Seals. So looking forward to um, putting that joint out. So look for that interview. We're probably going to drop it in another week or two. So big interview today. For any of y'all who didn't catch this week's interview that we released, we got Guinness Book, Guinness World Record Holder, author of Chicken Soup for the Soul, Jack Canfield, talking about the law of attraction. I know so many movers, so many people who's in our community. You know, this this is what we live by. We speak it into existence. We 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 one hundred percent live by the law of attraction, manifestation visualization. Jack Canfield is an expert in that area. So if you have not watched this week's interview on the Power Move Maker series, please go tune in on um, iTunes, Spotify, all of the streaming services, or catch it right there on YouTube. Joel, what up? Brother North, what up? I see y'all. Can y'all hear me loud and clear? And is my lighting all right? Somebody, um, Give me the heads up if the lighting is all right. How we look at how we how, how how's the sound coming through? Who's that we got there? Michelle, is that you? I think that's you. Okay, everybody's saying I'm good. I'm good money. Good. We start in a couple of minutes, y'all. How's everybody's week going? Everybody good? Everybody making power moves? If you making power moves, give me the thumbs up. It's Warrior Wednesdays. If y'all got that warrior mentality this week, y'all out there closing deals, give me the thumbs up. Okay, they said my audio is good. Good. Definitely make sure, again, y'all, Monday night, 7 p.m. Y'all know how we do it. Motivation Monday, 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. This is an open community. So if um if any of y'all got questions, feel free to jump in. Let me know. Hit that um little icon down there. With the, it looked like the silhouette of two people. Hit that icon. Let me know you ready to jump in. Official Young T, I see you. Let's see. We give it a second before we get started, y'all. I hope everybody checked out that Jack Canfield interview. It's a dope interview. Like, like, really, it's, that's food for our spirit. Anybody trying to get ahead, that's the interview to watch. Real talk. I'm trying to see different people coming on. I see comments coming up. Yeah, we start now, y'all. Oh, my man, Manny Mad Dog. Yo, Mad Dog, what up, Manny? How you, kid? Joshia, what up? I see you. I see you. We starting about a minute, y'all. Anybody got any questions whatsoever? Again, Wednesday nights. This is really y'all time. It's not my time. It's y'all time. This is the community. 
to jump in. Yo, Manny, you celebrating your birthday. Happy birthday, brother. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, kid. All my movers, please wish my man Manny Mad Dog a happy birthday. Manny, you, you never short for words, so I'm hoping you're going to jump in this live with me. Hit that request button down low. You got a lot of history. You got a lot of history in the game, and you got a lot to really contribute to so many other entrepreneurs. You've been doing your thing for a long time, so you know, feel free to get on and share your story with the community. All right, let me see if I got anybody. Any okay, so we're gonna get it started, y'all, just so that we not um I like to wait till about 7.05. I think we here now. Anybody, let's see if we got anybody trying to jump in. See so anybody we got trying to jump in in this live. Come with your questions. Come with your stories. Come with anything you want to contribute to the live tonight. It's a bunch of movers supporting movers for sure. How we doing this? I just tried to let somebody in. Waiting for it to open up. Okay. Yo, yo. What's good? Christian, what up? How's it going? It's one of those days, kid. How you? Hey, I'm right there with you. It's one of those days. But we're moving. We got the there movers go. in the building. Hashtag movers. I love seeing that in the comments. It's a beautiful day. Harlem the kid, what up? So what are we looking at on your side of town, Christian? Well, really, how, can you, how can you contribute to the movers community? Well, I really got a question. So a lot of times, the majority of the times when I get on this thing, I always see, you know, industry heavyweights and, and, and people who are really, um, they've already been there, done that, right? Mm -hmm. And there's, they always speak about the process of, of what it took or how, how their journey went into, to get to where they're at. Now, somebody like me, I'm 26. Um, I'm not quite there yet. So I'm still in that struggling phase. Now, for the people who are like me, who maybe they're an entrepreneur who, um, who is starting their business, but they're not getting the numbers that they want. Maybe it's someone who is in search of that job that's fulfilling, but they don't really know where to start. Um, or someone who may have a job working for the company that they like, but it's not necessarily the position that they want and they're grinding day after day after day and, and, and they're putting everything they have into this thing, but they're not getting the results that they want and their patience is starting to grow thin. How do those people persevere and stay resilient even when it looks like there's absolutely no way that what they're fighting for is gonna come true? It's actually a dope question and I gotta believe there's a lot of people in this live who are going through the same thing. And, um, you know, I could speak for myself right now, this journey I'm on. Uh, you know, doing what I'm doing now, this is, this is a new era in my life. You know, I've done a lot of things, uh, been very successful in past careers, but now put myself out there as a speaker, as an educator, as somebody who's trying to create this movers community, of course, I look at others who are in this space and it feels like they are light years ahead of me. It feels like, you know, no matter how much work we're putting in, no matter how consistent we really are, no matter how much value I'm trying to bring to our community, it's not growing at a pace that I would want it to grow. But what I always try to do is look within, and number one, I try to remind myself, why am I doing what I'm doing? And that always helps to ground me, because truth of the matter is, if you're purpose-driven, and like I said, this thing that I'm doing right now, 
This is all purpose for me. This is something that it has no dollar. Um, it has no dollar sign attached to it. I want to affect lives. I want to help change lives. Now, somebody else, it might be a dollar sign attached to it. Maybe they want to, you know, grow in the company and become a C-suite executive. Maybe they want to, I don't know, get a record deal, whatever it might be. But if you're in the building and you're doing what you love, that should be motivation enough to keep going. Because at the end of the day, if you are on path to living your purpose, if you're doing it, like I don't care what level you're at, if you're actually doing it and you're in the midst. So let's just say, for, for instance, everybody know my story, right? I came into the music industry as an intern. Was I doing what I wanted to do? No. But I was in the building. I was that much closer to my goals than I ever had been when I was on the outside just dreaming of one day working at a record label. And like I said, even what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to touch and affect millions. Am I doing that? No. But even with this small community that we've created, every week it grows you know, I'm getting to do something that I just enjoy doing. So I'm I'm in the community, even though I'm not at the level that I want to be at within this industry. So that typically keeps me grounded. So I would tell any and everybody, always go back to why did you start it in the first place? And if you can say to yourself, I started this journey that I'm on for whatever reason, and you can look around and say, at least I'm in the building. At least I'm standing next to people who are doing it and I can learn from them on a daily basis. Or I can sit and, you know, have lunch or they know my name and I know them and we're on first name basis. You're, 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 you're closer to, to, to your goal than you realize. And it's something that I always say. I don't, I don't want people to ever confuse progress with the amount of money that they're making. Because those are two very different things. People look at the fact that, yo, I'm not making any money at this yet. Okay, that doesn't mean that you're not in the building. It doesn't mean that you're not learning. It doesn't mean that you're not growing your contacts and you're not building relationships. So don't ever confuse what's in your bank account. Or, 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 or that salary or the amount of money that you're making with the progress that you're making. Does that make sense? No, that definitely makes sense. It's still one of those situations. Like myself, I, uh, I'm from Indianapolis, Indiana, but I just recently moved to New York to pursue my dreams. Uh, and, you know, we all have our days, even if you do uh, take that leap of faith, whether it's asking for that promotion or moving to a different location or uh, getting that internship, whatever the case may be, you still feel those feelings. And I feel like that's one thing we don't we don't validate enough on this journey to success is no matter how far you're going to go and how far you want to go, you know, you're still going to have those moments of self-doubt. You know, you're still going to have, you know, that ang that anxiety of like, man, I'm not doing enough or the worst. Um, like you mentioned earlier, when you look around and you see your peers, you see people who may not be as dope as you or, uh, you know, they may be just as qualified as you, but they got their chance and you see them doing their thing and you're just sitting back like, yo, my time's not coming. But you're right. You, you got to look back and think about what it, why you're doing what you're doing, what got you started and, and you know, really just believe in yourself and, and, and you know. Trust in the process. Easier said than done, but really it just goes back to trust in the process. So, No, you have to trust the process. And even as you're talking, I'm looking at myself and I'm wearing a, 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 a Daylin Amar um, hoodie. And this hoodie is dope, right? Nice and hoodie. it was a young 19-year-old entrepreneur that came on this same Wednesday night, Warrior Wednesday. And he jumped into our live and he started to talk about, yo, I'm a, a 19 year old CEO entrepreneur. And he was talking about his clothing line. And I believe in movers supporting movers. So of course I went out there and ordered, you know, a couple of things from, from, 
his website. And when it came in, I'm like, this kid might be 19, but his stuff is dope. Now, granted, I don't know if he's selling millions of dollars worth of merchandise, but here it is. He has Sean Prez, one person that probably would not have bought his stuff before, that now is, is not only did I learn about his company, but I went out there and I purchased it. I liked it. And I'm on my next live talking about it. So although he might not be where he wants to be, he's further ahead than where he was. And just having that one person wear your stuff, I know for him, I don't know if he's on the live tonight or, you know, maybe he'll see this a little bit later. But this is, this is exactly what you're talking about. And that's why I always say don't confuse your own progress with the amount of money that you're making or not making. He just made another customer out of me. And when I saw his stuff, I was like, I got to order more of his stuff. Because when I first ordered it, it was me supporting him. Now I'm ordering it because I actually like it. It's actually quality stuff. So this Dale and Amar product, I'm going to plug him while I'm here. It's really, it's, 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 it's a dope, dope hoodie. And I love hoodies. So, I mean, it is trust in the process. Because you, ne you, you never know when you're going to have that moment. I'm sure he didn't know I was going to put his sweater on tonight. He probably didn't even know I ordered. Well, let me, before I go, because I know you want to keep these short, let me ask one more question. Um, coming from someone who, who, who's been on this side and has sat in this seat, when you do finally have that moment, that moment that, you, that you've dreamed about, do you necessarily feel it? Or do you just, are you just in the same spot? Do you still feel like, like man, I still have a long ways to go? Like, is, is there ever that moment of clarity, I guess, for, for the better way to say it? How, how does you know, that work out? You know, that's the blessing and the curse of being a mover. It's the blessing and the curse of somebody who is so driven and so motivated that, you are going after your goals with full force and you're going to achieve them by any means necessary. The blessing is you're going to outwork the competition. You're not going to stop until that thing that you have visualized a million times now becomes tangible and real. Mm -hmm. But the goalpost always moves. And this is the curse of being a mover. And it's, it's something that I wish even in my own career I had done just a little bit different. And why what I'm doing now, I'm focused more on the process than the end result. Like, mm -hmm. I know I'm going to get to the finish line. I know I'm going to be the number one speaker on the planet. That's coming. God has ordained that long before I ever stepped foot on this earth. Mm -hmm. But this go-round, unlike last go-round, you know, with all of the different things that I've achieved in my life, I always, every time I hit one goal, I had three, four goals that I already had in my head. So I never took time to stop and really just look around and be like, wow, like, you know, you are one of those people who you used to want to meet or you have just accomplished something that once upon a time you could never even see yourself doing because you didn't know anybody. You didn't have any financial resources. You were not connected, any of those things. So I would just encourage, you know, I, I think the goalposts always move. And it always, every time you hit a goal in your head, you got three, four more to go. And because of that, you never take time to sit and really just enjoy the moment. But I would encourage every mover out there, this thing, it, I promise you, we are cut from a different cloth as movers. We, 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 are, we are different. We're, we're just different. We're wired different. We're built differently. We're going to make, we, getting to the finish line is not a question of if, it's when. Mm. So that's a given. And with that in mind, I would just say, because you know that it's just a matter of time that you're going to get to the finish line, get in your head right now. I'm going to enjoy 
this process. It's like going on a road trip and you just looking out the window while you're driving and you're getting to see the scenery and all of that. Enjoy the process because you will get to the finish line, but you don't want to make the same mistake I made on my way up of I was there, but I wasn't there because I was so focused on, you know, getting to that finish line. Mm -hmm. No, I really, really appreciate the insight. You know, I really, really, really appreciate the insight. So thank you for taking the time to answer my questions. Uh, I'm just looking forward to see who jumps in here next. Uh, I love I love attending these things every week. A lot of insight, a lot of great support. So what you're building is very powerful. So thank you for your time. Appreciate you, kid. Thank, thanks. And great question. Movers, what up? If you're trying to jump in, I said, hold on, is that my man Eddie Lojack? Eddie Lopez, what up? My brother for many years just jumped in. It, it, it makes my heart proud when I, when I see my brother support me. So for anybody who has any questions, please hit that um, request and, and, and let me know you're trying to jump in. Uh. I, I, we got a couple of people requesting to get in, so just hold tight. I'm going to try to get to everybody tonight. Hi. Hey, who we got? Um, I'm Janaya. I'm a current college student. I'm kind of, like, nervous when I get on screen, but I'm getting better. Hold on. Say, say your name again. Zanaya. Hey, Zanaya. How are you? I'm good. How are you, girl? Good. I'm kind of nervous when I get on screen, but I'm getting better. <laughs> you're, doing, you're, you're doing just fine, so don't worry about it. Where, so, where, where, where you coming in from? Where you at? I'm in Philly. Okay, I, I love Philly. I'm thinking about going there this weekend. And I'm a current college student at Penn State. Oh, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. And um, so I had like a few questions. So I am started on my company, Crafty Looks by Night. And mm -hmm. um, so I'm basically um, sell lip gloss. Um, um, jewelry, basically like beautiful, like Black Lives Matter, um, pens and bracelets and all that. And I'm also getting ready to start like my skincare line and everything because basically with like Corona and basically like getting not that many hours and with my job because of Corona and then trying to help my mom and my grandma because they really been like in my corner a lot and I really want to go hard for it. But how do you deal with, with um, unsupportive like friends and family sometimes with it? And then, because, you know, I don't get, like, that many orders. But then they're like, should you continue going on? But I really want to go, like, hard with this. Okay. It's so interesting because I just had this conversation earlier today. Do you love what you do? Definitely. I want to go, like, hard, like, really inspire people. And because my major is nutritional sciences, I want to be the pediatric physician assistant. So I even want to bring that into, like, my field. Okay. So... I would tell you this, and this is for anybody who's on this live. I promise you, Zanaya, the people who are closest to you, the people who you would expect to support you out the gate, typically, those are going to be the people who, after you have started to get things moving, after you have shown and proved and you're selling your jewelry and you're out there and you're hustling, they're going to come on later. It's so much easier to get people who don't know you. They have no expectations of you. They don't have a history with you. Those are the people who see you kind of as a blank canvas. So when you're presenting yourself to them and your product to them and your brand to them, they can just look at you for, she's got dope product. Like, like I right, love yeah. what she's selling, and I'm supporting her. The people who are closest to you, they see you at, oh, that's Lil Zanaya. She's got that little hobby over there. Mm -hmm. And, you know, they, it, 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 it is support, but it's not support. I would tell you it is not unusual. Don't get discouraged for a minute. They are always the last people to come on board. Now, you might, you know, there are families out there where there's somebody who, who you know, a mom or a brother or best friend or whoever that comes on board early. But it, that is 
the exception. It's not the rule. More times than not, the people who love you, and I mean truly love you, because of their own limitations or because they may have known you since you were a little girl and they only see you as one way, like that's little Zaniah, mm -hmm. they don't see you as this entrepreneur, businesswoman that you know you are. And because of that, you know, they'll give you an encouraging word here and there, but they don't really support you. They won't get out there and buy your stuff and tell all of their friends about it. Don't mm -hmm. get discouraged because it is not uncommon. I promise you. Right, yeah, because I always go hard. There's not even a time where I'm not, like, learning on YouTube. Like, I really think, believe in my brand and all the products that's going to be coming out. Like, it's really nice stuff. And the amount of stuff that I really got planned for this, I'm planning to go hard for it. And I'll prove them, you know. But but here's the deal, right? We 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 as human beings, we find motivation in different in different areas of our life. Mm -hmm. So maybe in and, and, and you're gonna need this because this road that you're on as an entrepreneur, it's not an easy road. It's definitely it's not a so. very mm -hmm. difficult road. It really, really is. And you're gonna have to find areas of motivation from wherever you can get it. And I can tell you, me, I'm living proof. My early motivation was exactly what you're going through right now. I didn't have the support of my immediate family. And I was like, oh, hell no. I'm going to prove y'all wrong. Y'all are going to see. This journey I'm on, I'm not wasting my time. I'm in here to win. And I went as hard as I could. Now, granted, it's common. It's not uncommon for for the closest people to you not to support out the gate. Mm -hmm. But when they see that you're not giving up, when they see that you are making miracles happen, you are not that same Zaniah that they once knew. And in my case, I was not the same Sean that they once knew. Then they're going to come on so strong and so hard. And they're going to be your biggest cheerleaders. I promise you. So just stick with it. And if that's where you have to find your motivation, that's okay. If, if, right. if your motivation is nothing more than I'm going to show y'all, let it be. Right, yeah. And I love, because I'm new to the um, finding this, so I'm glad to have found your page and everything. And I really, like, love the um, the advice that you give. Like, I'm just going to keep going hard no matter what. Like, my progress is what I've been doing, and I've been going hard, and the, the products will speak for themselves and you just got to believe in your brand like even if because my grandma's like I'm wondering if it's the price and I'm like no you just got to believe on what you're doing and just keep going hard yeah I mean at, at the end of the day you you take because you, what I try to do I listen to everybody you don't know where great advice is going to come my grandfather used to tell me this when I was a young man he's like Sean shut up Listen, learn to take good advice. It's free. Mm -hmm. And the key word here is good advice. Everybody don't have good advice, right? right. But listen to people. You know, sometimes people are going to give you some criticism and they're going to, you know, give you some comments that you might not initially agree with, but listen. And if it makes sense to you, then you make the changes. If somebody tells you you should lower your prices, okay, I'll think about it. Don't just shrug them off. I'll think about it. Or in some cases, you know, you you um even when you 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 sell them their product because I do this to people all the time. Like I'm damn near going broke in this community because I always try to support the other movers. Everybody who who you know comes on and they have a product, I try to buy it from them just to encourage them. You can do it. I'm just one sale, but mm -hmm. you can do it. And if I find that there's an area where they can improve. I pick up the phone and call them and say, look, this, your product is dope, but here's what I think you can do a little bit better and it'll help you. So always try to listen to constructive criticism. Understand that all criticism and, and all advice is not good advice, but the advice and the criticism that works for you and it's constructive, implement it into what you're doing and let that help you to move, move your whole plight forward. Definitely. Definitely. Thank you. Okay. I want to make sure that you get some sales here. 
So if you don't mind, for everybody right now, if y'all can, if, if you can go up there to the, um, uh, to the icons where our names are, if you hit it, just go ahead and follow her. And I would love for y'all to get out there and support her, give her an order or two. Just so she can um, eat. Because one order, just ordering one. You got your website up. Um, I'm correct, mm -hmm. tonight. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'll make sure that I order from you this evening. If I don't do it this evening, I'll definitely, you'll have an order from me tomorrow. Um, but I want everybody else in the community, if you can just hit um, our, our handles up there, you can just follow her right away. Please go ahead and support what she's doing. We got to support one another, guys. Oh, thanks. I'll put my website in the chat. I see my best friends on here, too. Thanks for the support. And everybody, I see your comments. Good, good. Make sure you put your website in the chat as well. Okay. Zania, thanks so much. Stay, stay on with us and make sure that um, if you haven't watched it, I did an interview with Jack Canfield. He is mm -hmm. amazing. He's a, he's a best-selling author. Guinness Book World Records um, book holder, and, and he gave an incredible interview about the law of attraction. I think you can benefit from it. So if you go to my YouTube channel, please go check it out. I think it can benefit you on your journey. Okay, thank you so much. See you later. See ya. Bye. Movers, let's support each other. Go out there and support Zanaya, y'all. I don't care if it's the smallest order, the biggest order. This is what we do. We got to support one another. Let me see who else is in the waiting room. Ugh. I'm going to try to get to everybody tonight, so we're going to try to move this through quick. We still got great time, y'all. See who we got trying to jump in on this live. Who we got? Is Joe that my Press. brother Jude? Yo, I'm, I'm, Jude, I'm yeah. keeping it real short and sweet, bro. Yo, Sean, on a real, I'm I'm just coming out here and I just wanted to give you your flowers while you're here to accept them. I see you moving, brother, and I see I see the time that you're taking with these people, um, that you're listening, and you're you're not you're not you're not handing them canned, canned um answers yo i see you i see i i saw that um jack canfield i see you brother i see you <laughs> all right so i'm not gonna i know you got people waiting I, i'm not trying to monopolize no time i just wanted to give you your props you out there you changing lives um keep doing it I, i'm looking forward to what you're doing in 2021 and i and i'm just letting you know i see you son i see you thank you <laughs> Good looking, Jew. Good look. And for anybody, before you jump off, Jew, for anybody who is into real estate, for anybody who is looking to buy property, or if you're already into real estate and you're looking to take your your game to the next level, next level, please follow my man, Jew Bernard. If you just hit the um icon handles up top and just go ahead and follow him. He does what we're doing right here, and he gives so much invaluable information for anybody who's in real estate, and he does it for free with, with a pure heart, and he's very open and, and transparent about how he made his fortune and how you can go out there and make your fortune. So thank you so much for jumping in, Jude. I appreciate you, brother. Yo, real recognized, real still stock shop and seal, brother. Yo, keep yes, doing sir. what you're doing. And I, I love Thank the fact that, that each other. All right, brother. So I just yes, to say, I just wanted to say thank you on behalf on behalf of the frat, on behalf of the community, on behalf, on behalf of everybody. Like I see you, son. You know, <laughs> like yo, let me tell you, yo, hold up, IG. I know I'm gonna keep it real short, but um, it takes a like you probably don't appreciate the time it takes to 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 produce the content that this brother produces. It takes a lot of time. It's a lot of phone calls, a lot of back and forth with people, you know? And and like and like a lot of this stuff is being done purely out of love. You know what I'm saying? So and I and I see that I see the quality and the content that this brother is out here putting out. And I know the effort and I know the out of pocket expense that comes with it. You know? Um editing ain't free. <laughs> no, it ain't free. Editing is not free, um, and 
every every minute that he's every minute that he is like is like just chopping it up with what's her name Zania that was just on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. Every minute, every minute that he's on the phone chopping it up with Zania out of love is a is a billable hour that he's not he's not hitting somebody else for. So you gotta appreciate this man, yo. I see you, son. I see you. <laughs> Thank you, Jude. I appreciate you. Much love, brother, and, and, and happy belated Founders Day. All right, brother. Blue five. All right, be good. Love you, kid. One. What up, y'all? Movers, we still got time. We still got time. If you're trying to get into this um live, please hit the request button. Uh. I know we got a few people waiting in the live. Please um, just just be patient. We're going to try to go through and try to get everybody in the live. But I thank y'all so much for supporting this movement. Who we got? You see me? Um, my name is Malachi. I'm part of a Bible study group. Um, mm -hmm. Basically, um, there's a couple ministers that do service for people who are struggling with their lives and they need some support that will help them lift them up and build confidence. So there's Woke For Real and Tough Disciples and Initial A. Their links are, are on Instagram. You can easily find them in the search engine. They certainly helped me with my confidence and my self-esteem and made me a better person. Basically, they preach about the Word of God and they apply those uh, verses and scriptures to lessons of life. So it, they look for people who are not just the sayer. They look for people who are doer and seek those lessons and take those lessons to mind and then put them to the test. So oh. let's say I lived a terrible life and I know I need a change and I know this life is toxic for me and I need to move on. I would read a verse in a Bible that specifically talks about people who live terrible lives and how they can change. So, Malachi, um, where, where, my, can we, where can we find? Where, where can we find? Did you put the link in 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 the chat below? Not yet. Um, so I can't do it right now, but it's basically their channels, um, their Instagram channels. You can find them. I'll yeah, if right you now. don't mind, put it put it in the chat below. I love to I love to, um for the rest of the movers on this live tonight to to be able to come and visit and, and make the decision for themselves if this works for them. Um so basically when they join, um there's a link on Tough Disciples out to send them to a Zoom call and they have to introduce themselves to the people that are within the um, Bible study. So that's basically it is. It's just Zoom calls. Um, Monday, Saturday, and Sunday. Okay. If if you put the, if you put the links in the chat, I'm sure everybody will make sure that they that they sign on for these Zoom calls. Thank you, Malachi. Um, how do you spell disciples? Excuse me? How do you spell that? How do you spell disciples? I don't. I'm not. I'm not as smart as you. I don't know. Somebody <laughs> spelled disciples. I'll, I'll just, in, in, is it, is it is it D I S C I P L E S? I don't know if this that first uh, S is there. But if hmm. you pull I'll just because use I want to uh, get more people on the call. I want to get more people in in the live if that if that's okay. okay. I'll get off the call and I'll type it in. Thank you so much, Malachi. I appreciate you dropping in. Thank you so much. Movers, young Holy smokes, yep. Rob. What up? I got my brother Phil Robinson on the line. Phil, what up, kid? What up, crazy? What up? Yo, it's good to see you, Phil. Yo, it's good to be seen. Okay, yo, Phil. Look, I know you're a legend. I know you have so much history in the game. 
But for anybody who doesn't know the name Phil Robinson, can you please, like, oh, my God, we got a surprise tonight. This is a treat for me. Phil, just introduce yourself to our group. This is a community of like-minded individuals, a bunch of movers supporting one another. So you are the king of movers. So please just let them know who you are in your history. Uh, well, no, first and foremost, uh, God is the king. And, and he's our uniter. Uh, and he's the king no matter uh, what you believe, whether it's Muhammad, whether it's Jesus, whether it's Moses, God is the king. Um, and I'm Phil Robinson, a uh, longtime uh, manager, consultant with Sean P. Diddy Carr, 25 years, over 25 years with Magic Johnson, uh, and presently working with the champ, Mike Tyson, uh, bringing his brand back and knocking people out. <laughs> um, and I really jumped on Sean, of what you're doing. Um, the young man that was uh, speaking earlier, you know that um, I have tried to teach all the disciples I know uh, coming up with us that time is more. You know, the time that you spend giving people this real information and really trying to help them out is money, money, money. And when I say that, not just money that you're losing, but money that they could be gaining because every opportunity to learn is an opportunity to build your business and to take your, your situation to the next level. Uh, the young lady from Philadelphia was talking about people look at her as a little... Tanaya, I believe she said her name was, but look at her that just me and you may have thought that 30 years ago, once you reach that finish line or what you're you'll be hating that you, Shania, because everybody in your family and all of their friends will depend on you to solve their problems. Depend on you to do because they know that you know. They have learned something from you that will make a difference in their life. And that's really uh, what's most important. Each person that comes on these lives that pay attention to what Sean is having to say needs to understand that like you are only a hit away. You are only a TV show away. You are only a fail away if you're selling something. You are only one thing away from your success. And the time that you give up is right when there. Trouble uh, will always be the hardest right before your breakthrough. And if we can do it, you can do it. You know, um, we we are guys that I, I am so impressed that Sean, uh, you know, I seen him build bad boy street teams. I seen him make power moves. Like his, the company name is not something that he thought of. It's something that he lived. I've watched him live it for 25 years. And every time somebody puts something, a good good example. Um, everybody knows about the story of Cuff uh, in the Navigator Club New York. Uh, he got pulled over, had a gun in the Navigator with J-Lo and got arrested big situation and we went to trial every day sean press had the street teams out there with pictures <laughs> this is what we, we we was training the minds of the jurors of the people every day with street teams showing that it's not just to sell records or a movie or a product change people's minds with marketing and then after puff got found uh, a friend of ours by the name of Snoop Dogg was like a tour, a tour called the Not Guilty Tour. Every city we went to sold out with the Not Guilty Tour. But guess what? Before we got there, people were already there with the signs, with the street teams, with the, the flyers. People understand that something big was in the town. You may have seen it before and you will never see it again. But when the next day, you'll be telling everybody the great time that you had, and we bought out the club. But that wasn't our goal. Our goal was to tell you that you can have a good time while making money, and you can transform people's minds with 
So it doesn't matter how you start or how small it seems, like you you can achieve your dream. And he did not even know to dream about. When me and when me and Prez was was coming up, we was happy to take a trip to Las Vegas. We didn't know about what we can't but it was delivered to us. Then we worked hard, and guess what? We needed a street team in Central Pay too. There, here comes Sean and his team. Everywhere we went, there was a need for Sean to be side by side. With so there, there's a saying that people must really, really pay attention to, and that is your gift will make room for you. If you have gift, singing, producing, writing, anything, and that gift is good, it will make room for you. People will change their mind. Uh, we uh, I learned 25 years ago, pe most people only know the, the, the uh, lyric that don't worry if I write rhymes, I write checks. And But he also knew where to get the drum machine maker. He knew where to get the best songwriter. He knew where to get all the it. So you might just be the songwriter, but guess what? You got a piece. You own some of that publishing. You are what you make yourself to be. All of the things that Sean also just said, enjoy the ride. And each step that you make, if, if you make your first 10,000, enjoy some of that 10,000. When you make your 20,000, enjoy some of that 20,000. Never wait and keep putting things off until you get to a certain goal because there's no certain goal. There, there are people who tell me that they're waiting to have their first child when such and such. When our grandparents, our parents had six and seven children, knowing that God will make a way. So God is your gift. It will make a way for you. Don't wait on uh, what, uh, any religion that you practice. If you have faith, you then have to do work. You have to make moves. The Muslims say, uh, pray for a good so you tie up your camel, you know? <laughs> because it's true. You have to prepare for the gift that you're But everybody here today, all 25, 30, whatever that is listening to us, you have the potential to time to sign up today. Somebody is not getting this good knowledge that Prez is giving out. Somebody is not getting this situation that we have lived. If we can do it, we can do it. I have one more thing to say. Also on your way up, help up. I have a simple story, and that is that my goal was always to try to make 10 millionaires a long way. But if something happens to me, each one of those guys could give me 100,000. I'm back at a million, they still got 900. You have to pay attention to those that are side by side with you. You want them to work with you. You want them to pay attention and to admire you. You cannot do it by yourself and you cannot do it being stingy. You have to get people on board. You have to make your village count. And guess what? There's always a, vill a village idiot. So everybody ain't going to be good in the beginning. That shows you how to manage. That you need to get rid of somebody. But, but continue to plant in those nine, ten that you believe in. And then when the rain gets on that seed and it starts growing... You know what's going on. Phil, oh my God, you just dropped, I, I, I don't even know where to start commenting that because you dropped so many great gems just now. One of the things that, that I want to tackle real quick, <clears throat> you, 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 you stressed that your gift will make room for you, right? That's right. And earlier in the conversation, or early in the live, I was talking to people about, you just got to get in the room. And if you get in a room, even if it's not doing what you want to do, at least you're there. You're making progress. And as I'm listening to you talking, you're talking about me with the street teams. I'm very open 
with the fact when I got in the music industry, the last thing I wanted to do was be on the street team and then build the street team. But that was my way in the door, and it was really my gift. I had a gift of marketing. And even when I didn't want to do it, like you said, your gift will make room for you. And I'm looking right now, even in the comments, and I see some of the street team members, my man Rome, who is probably the greatest street team general in the history of street teams. I see my man Rod Dollars down there, who is incredible on the streets. My man Joel, all these different guys. But they all came to me because I was put in a position to use my gift. And my gift helped me to form relationships with you and helped me to form relationships with Puff. And because of that, you managing Puff put me on um, the management team. I never thought one day, because of my gift of marketing and street teaming, you and I would be flying on private jets staying at the most expensive hotels in the world. All of those things came from this small little gift. And oh, I can't oh, stress oh, enough friend, what you're saying. Friends, don't leave our relationships. In addition to why you was doing all of that with us, you also kept the balance with uh, Jermaine Dupri and his team, the, you know, the baby and, and cash money, and everybody who had a, 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 a ludicrous team because you spread your gift out, although you was loyal to me and Puff, in mind because it kept the relationship rolling with the other for us. And what makes things the most important is when you're paying attention to what you're doing, but you're also spreading that gift as it's making room for you. Absolutely. You, you, you're absolutely right, because I would have never thought, Phil, you know, when I came into the music industry, it, I wanted to be an a I wanted to be something completely different, but God saw it different. And and when I embraced the fact that this this is not where I want to be, but it's where I'm at, and I'm going to do the, the best job I could possibly do at it. Actually, nobody is going to be better. That's when the door started opening up. And I see my man, Manny Mad Dog, who is another legend in the street scene game, in the comments, Manny, what up? I see you, brother. But, you know, what you're saying, Phil, I, I, I just can't um, thank you enough because it's stuff that people need to hear. It's, it's, it, people are so busy chasing a dollar that they don't perfect their craft and, and, and they, don't, they don't make the relationships because they equate progress with the money that they have in the bank. And that is, that is it's, it's the wrong way to look at it. You are looking at it wrong and, and, and you're not giving yourself a chance to really build up and become what you can become if you just embrace your gift. Your, your, your relationship, and, and, and uh, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a little old, but I like it being old, and the Rolodex is more valuable right now. Because if there you go. You can always go back to a relationship. You can always go back to a friend and figure something out. When the money runs out, you can't go to nobody. <laughs> That's right. That's right. All right, Phil, I'm going to try to get more people into this live. Thank you so much, brother. I love you. Love you brought doing. so much wisdom, and hopefully you'll be back next week. I love you, and I love what you're doing for the people, man. It's most important that these new movers make moves. That, and, and Mil, uh, Phil, this is what I tell them. By definition, y'all, movers make moves. That's by definition. So keep moving if you're a mover. Phil, I love you, kid. Be good. Love, love you. Deep. Let's see who else we got. Let's see who we got before we close this thing up. We coming up on an hour, y'all. I like to try to keep it to an hour. We got we got several people waiting to get in. So hopefully I can get one, two more people in before we um, close this thing out. Who we got? Uh, let's see. I sent the request out, but let's see. D. Ferg, I see you. Derek Ferguson, legend in the game, CFO, legend, always dropping in, always supporting. 
Okay, I'm not sure what's going on. I'm trying to let some folks in. Ready, I was trying to let you in. I don't know what's happening. Ready, I was trying to let you in. I don't know if um Instagram is bugging or what, because it's not letting me let anybody in. Oh, man. Instagram always killing us, y'all. I'll try it one more time, and if not, let's see. And speaking of that, can everybody hear me loud and clear just to make sure my connection is right? Because I'm trying to let people in, but it's not letting them. Just, just give me the thumbs up, wave at me, let me know that y'all can still hear me. I'm still live. Let me see. Oh, my man, DJ, whatever, whatever, what up? Yeah, Instagram is bugging again, y'all. Okay, I'm, I'm going to keep trying. Try again. Let's see if Instagram is working. Yo. Ready? What up? <laughs> what up, my boy? <laughs> what up, my young brother? I'm, I'm what chilling, an MC I'm, I'm, chilling. I'm chilling, man. One of the young OGs, man. I'm chilling, man. I'm loving it, man. I remember when you gave me that gym, man. And, and like, you know, a lot of people got to understand your words is powerful with spells. You know what I mean? And and it really took me a long way in my journey. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of times when I wake up and write music. I think about the message that what I'm writing to the people now. You know what I'm saying? So I'm chilling, man. Everything is going up. Everything is moving. You know, I got video dropping soon. I got a project. I'm working with Ryan right now. Like, he's he's uh, he's with Post Malone. So I'm working with a lot of people right now. And I'm just happy, man. I'm, I'm chilling, man. So, okay. So, so, so I know, I know you, but, but, mm -hmm. but the rest of the movers in this community, I want you to introduce um, yourself to them. Let them know who you are, where they can find your music. And just where you're at on this journey, because I think you gotta, you know, people people think that 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 artists like yourself they just blow overnight, and it's yeah, a struggle. Hell no, it, yeah, it's it's definitely a struggle. Like I, so those who don't know me, I go by the name of Ready. I'm from Bronx, New York. Um, I'm an artist. I've been doing this for a little minute now. I've been doing it for like three or four years. I'm just starting to get the recognition. You know what I mean? Um. During my journey, I definitely, I faced a lot of challenges. You know what I mean? I faced a lot of self-doubts, a lot of discouragements about myself. You know what I mean? But now, you know, um, going through the past and where I came from, I definitely see the improvement and the elevation of my career. You know what I mean? So I just want to say, you know, keep it short. Like, whatever you go through is going gonna, is gonna to make you who you are. It's going to make you the best version that you need to be. You know what I mean? Like, you can't be the best version of you unless you go through them lessons. That's what's going to create mm -hmm. that character and bring that confidence when you start talking to people. You know what I mean? Like, you start talking to people, you're going to have a different kind of character. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to have a vision for yourself. You're not going to just say, oh, yeah, I want to I want to be an artist and tomorrow I want to blow up because it don't work like that. You know, some people is fortunate and some people is less fortunate. You know what I mean? Some people you got to put in the work. So I was just one of the dudes that put in the work and never gave up. And like you said, man, God bless me. You know what I mean? God bless me with people that know that genuinely love me and genuinely want to see me win. You know what I'm saying? So that's that's just where I'm at right now. And like I said, like everything's been going up. I dropped a single called Million Dollar Plan and Million Dollar Plan was a big song for me. It did like 30,000 in like a, a month. That was the greatest I ever did. Uh, the song Congratulations. That, yeah, the song before that I had collab with this 15 year old dude. And I just want people to understand artists or whoever you are, you could be a businessman, entrepreneur, whatever you are. Age don't mean nothing. Anybody could take you to the next level you need to go to, right? Because there is, there's a ladder that you always need to climb, but God put people in your life so that way you can reach that, that limit that you want to reach. You know what I mean? So, you know, anybody could take you to that level where you want to be at. So don't look at somebody littler than you and be like, oh, nah, he's younger than me or she's younger than me. He can't teach me shit. Everybody could teach you something. You know what I mean? No. So, it... Yeah, I'm listening. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was just saying, like, you know, every everybody could teach you something, you know what I mean? So that song Million Dollar Plan is, like, is like real touching for me, you know what I mean? And I think it touches people in a different way. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to tell you, Ready, th th thanks for jumping in this live, kid, and, and congratulations. 30,000? I remember when you wasn't getting 300. <laughs> <laughs> so it, it just shows, guys, <laughs> you got to stick with it. This thing don't happen overnight. 
you 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 gotta also understand that just like you're a mover, there's other movers out there, and all of y'all are competing for that top spot. So yeah. you got to be consistent, and you got to keep going hard. The ones who don't make it to the finish line, I promise y'all on everything, I have worked with some of the most successful people on planet Earth. And the biggest difference that I see between them and people who are not successful is not that they're smarter, it's not that they're any more educated, it's not that they're stronger or any of those things. Mm -hmm. They just never, ever, ever gave up. They never gave up. They did not look at it as, as a failure as a failure. They looked at it as, yeah. okay, now I know what not to do. Exactly. I know what doesn't work. I got an education on the wrong way to do it, so now I know the right way to do it. And most people, they get discouraged, they get frustrated, and eventually they give up and they, they tap up. out. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and movers, we don't do that. Again, by definition, movers move. Keep moving. Ready. I want to try, because I got to close this thing out. Tell everybody where they can find you. I'm going to try to get one more person in before I close it out. Yeah, man. You can find me on all platforms, Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube, etc. I'll go by the name of Ready R3ADYs right at the top. You can just click um the page and then go to the link in the bio and you can hear the latest single I just dropped out. I appreciate y'all. Sean, I love you, my boy. Big bro for life. You know that. You know what I'm saying? All love, man. Absolutely. I love you, brother. And and and, and you know, you from the backyard. You South Bronx. So so yeah. you know you got a special place in my heart. Keep up the <laughs> great work, kid. All right, man. One. All right, I'm going to let one more person in and we're going to close it out, y'all. After this, we'll close it out. I, lo I love these conversations. Wednesday is starting to be my favorite, favorite day of the week. Who we got? Tahi, Bra Tahi Browning and my dad here also. Say, say, say your name one more time. Tahi Browning. Tahi, what up, man? And that's your dad? Yes. Hey, John. What's Brad, up, Dan? Good, man. Good to have y'all in the building. Good. I just wanted to present this water, this water company that I'm partnering with, Good Water. It's, it's my company. Tell me how you hit him in the inbox when you're talking about the Syrah. Uh, oh, my hold on. Did you DM me? Yes. Oh, okay. So, so, so great. This is one of. This is so great. Introduce, introduce yourself and your water to our community. Uh. My name is Tahir Browning, and this is my this is my water company called This Is Good Water. Where, where are you based out of, Tahir? Philadelphia, Philadelphia. What, what made you start a water company out of all of the businesses out of there out out there? Why a water company? Uh, actually, it's actually me and other three partners, and they were looking for for uh to be in a space in like tennis and golf. So my dad negotiated with them to have to for me to be have ownership in it like equity. Really? Yes. So how, that's how old are you? Eighteen. I just turned eighteen. You're literally eighteen, and you're a partner in a water company. Yes. Nice. Now, well, is there is, is there anything different about your water company? Is where where is it distributed? Where can we find it? Uh. You can, as of right now, we have a website called Philly Good Water, but we're working to get it into like stores near you guys. So that's what we're trying to do now. Did you say Philly Good Water? Yes, Philly Good Water. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. You also mentioned that that um something about tennis. Educate yes. us real quick. Yeah, I'm a, I, yes, I'm a high level tennis player. I'm one of the top recruits in the country, top twenty five. Uh, I've been playing tennis since I was five, so. I mean, as of right now, I'm either going to go pro right now or go to college for a year or two, then go pro. Really? Congratulations. Yeah. Okay, so so where's your passion? Is your passion with the tennis or is it with the water company or is it a little bit of both? Uh, the tennis. So you love the tennis? Yes. And Can you're one in? of the top recruits, you said? Yes. Can I jump in, oh. Coach Perez? Uh, absolutely. Let's go. So what, how it came about, man, they, the, the water company is a black-owned water company here in Philadelphia, and they wanted to position themselves in a tennis or 
golf market. And ironically, the, the, the team that was doing the promotion said, hey, man, we know this young black kid from Philly that's an elite level tennis player, and he's from Philly. So they came out to one of our training sessions, said, hey, man, we want to support you. We see your talent. We believe in you. Mm -hmm. And my mind, actually, man, I've been following you since I was a young guy. I may be a little, little younger than you. I'm 45, but I'm familiar from way back. And what you did with Puff and so Tahid saw the joint on we watched the Earn and Leisure, how you did with Sirac. And he was like, Well, Dad, we make him do that with the water with fitness people. Mm -hmm. And I just and I've been stretching his mind to follow guys, you know, like you, you know, Wall Street Trapper, Earn Your Leisure to try to change the culture. And T is Tahid is unique because he's an African American boy from the hood that plays tennis. But he's actually one of the best in the country. He's been showcased at the U.S. Open, your hometown, in Corona Park, you know, in New York. So we come yep. to the U.S. Open every year. He would have played this year, the juniors, but he was the COVID, shut everything down. So this was kind of came about really to self-fund because tennis is still a, a money sport. That's why we're not dominating it because it, it costs about 50 to 75 grand just to see if you can make it. But once you break through – and you've been already providing some inspiration, not giving up. So I think I've been – thank you for that, sir, to hear my son, to hear you say that, to know, like, man, your early beginnings and what you did with the Ciroc boys. No one knows that story until I – you know, we seen it on Earn Your Legion. That was dope. And every – you know, it was like – and then Tahit was like, well, you think we can do that with the, uh, the fitness people? Because he obviously has a private trainer, but everybody drinks water. It's a pH level of six. It's good. It's spring water. So again, just I'm just again proud to sit here now with my my grown man and teaching him how to go ahead and connect the dots and make moves and and, and about networking, man. Okay, so first and foremost, I I I, I want to because I would be whack if I did not say just how how impressed I am to see a black father standing next to his son and encouraging his son to, to, to become this entrepreneur. I love the sight that I'm seeing right now. I think that you got, and, 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 and I'm sure for anybody on the other end of this live just watching this, it just makes my heart feel good to just see you there with your boy and just encouraging him both, you know, to, to be this elite level athlete, but also you can be a businessman and do it simultaneously. So, so congratulations to yourself. So that's number one. But number two, as you were speaking, uh, a, a great friend of mine, Derek Ferguson. Um, Derek, he's in the comments right now. He just made the comment that he has a lot of experience with water, which he absolutely does. So the fact that he even commented, y'all need to follow Derek. He said to DM him. He's okay. offering his, his, his um, and just so you know, Derek Ferguson is different. This is a brilliant, brilliant man entrepreneur, businessman, CFO, Ivy League educated, worked with Sean Diddy Combs for many years, second in command with the Robin Hood Foundation right now. I don't want to wow. go down his whole resume, but he's, he's incredibly brilliant and he's just a good soul. So as, as you were talking, he was like, yo, I got a lot of experience with water. DM me. Derek, if, if you can um, just in the chat right now, just um, or, or make a comment so that they can see your handle and follow you real quick because y'all need to do him. That is exactly why I do what I do. This is what this community is all about. Making these types of connections, allowing people like yourself to come on and talk about what you're doing and yeah. then having people within our community reach out and help one another. This wow. is the exact reason why I created Warrior Wednesdays and this whole power move maker thing that we're doing here. No, I, we definitely see Mr. Ferguson's handle, DF with D Ferguson 65. So we on it, King. It, 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 it's D F E R G U S. S, yeah, 65. Yep, I, yep. I've, written, I've written it down already. We got our notes. Yeah, and, 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 and I'm going to tell you, like, like, you might not know who he is at this minute, but you just got blessed. Like, like this was a big night for you, just so you know. No doubt. And Tahi was on me like, Dad, we got to do the live. We got to, you know. Mr. Perez told me, and when I told him, I said, man, I know, you know, Sean, I don't know you personally, but I've watched you from back in the day, man. I remember when I read the Black Enterprise piece when I think you were great, make the move with Power Moves. 
you know. Oh I my God, that. you you really you really have been following me from back in the day. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, man. You know, and being a Philadelphia guy, I went to Hampton. I remember Bad Boy coming down to Hampton, Virginia. So you know, I, I remember those days. Back nah, good man, good man. Yeah. Well, best yeah. of luck to y'all. Make sure yeah. every week y'all jump on this live. Help spread the word. We're really Absolutely. trying to build a community that supports one another. I love what y'all are doing. Do me a favor also, if you can put, I know you're going to connect with Derek Ferguson, but yep. if you can put um, the, 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 the website um, okay. to, to, to the water company, and also if your son, Tahib, has a website just in yep. terms of his tenants and how we can sponsor and support him, please yes. put it in the comments. Yes, will do. Thank you so much, man. Happy New Year, man. Happy, Happy New, New Year. Year to you. Tahib, you. be good. Keep up the great work. You too. Thank you. All right. Later. Bye. Bye. Okay, movers, we are about 10 minutes over. Y'all know I like it to keep it to uh, at least an hour. Another great night. Shout to everybody who jumped on the live tonight. Shout to my man Derek Ferguson. Shout to Philly Rob, Manny Mad Dog, and so many others who jumped in this live tonight. Please, movers, let's support each other. I also, before I get out of here, my man, Daylin Amar, incredible, incredible um, apparel. He, he, I mean, I love this sweatshirt. I'll be ordering more. But this is what we do. We support one another in this community. Tell your friends, movers, I know you, you, you travel with like-minded people. So please tell them 7 p.m. Warrior Wednesday, 7 p.m. on Wednesdays. We do Warrior Wednesdays, 7 p.m. on Mondays, Motivation Mondays. And if you have not caught it already, please go check out my interview this week with Jack Canfield. You can find it on my Power Move Makers YouTube channel or iTunes, Spotify under um, Power Move Makers. Peace and love, y'all. For anybody who wasn't able to get in the live this week, I'll catch y'all next week. One love. Keep making Power Moves.